Well, here is Happy over here after he grabs a bite of grass. Come on, boy. And I'm not sure. I had asked Ronnie to work with him on trailer loading while I was gone. And I don't know if he did or not. I haven't talked to him yet. Um, he may have had an emergency or may or may not. But the last time I worked with him on trailer loading, I got him to load all the way. But that was the second time. And the first time, Stormy was out in this pasture right next to me. And that's where she is today. And she pitched such a fit. I really didn't have success that day other than two feet. So we're going to see how he does today. And I might be better to put her up, but I'm just going to try it. So here we go. The last time he got on, he got all four feet on. So without any workout, I'm going to go ahead and try it. I do have hay and grain in there just because, you know, horses get treats from time to time. And usually when you load, usually when you load a horse, on a trailer, they're going in to eat hay anyway. Look at his little pot belly. I'm gonna have to reduce his diet. He's definitely gonna be a great bareback horse. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, and the last time Dolly was in here. Come on. Just try to let him make the decision on his own. And I'm going to go ahead and tie the rope off in here. That way, he doesn't think it's me holding him back. His battle will be, if there is a battle, his battle will be with the trailer and not with me. So that knot there is real easy to get off. Now this is old dryer hay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit in there. And I'm really going to kind of ignore him and just let him choose to come up here. It's kind of like if he was loading with his mom, you know, you would just let him come up. And I see a lot of people that, you know, they, you, and, and you can train your horse this way. They would back up to a barn aisle or back up to a round pen or just back up to a chute or something. And that's probably the best way, but I don't have a lot of help and I don't have access to all those resources because if I was to back up to the barn aisle, I would definitely need some help in case he started acting up. And so you got to have a couple people to do it. And this way that I'm training him, I've been trying to do it with minimal working out. Like if he just won't get on, I might get down and lunge him a little bit just so that he continues to view the trailer as a place of rest. But I don't mind having the hay in here because every time they load to go to a show or on a trip, hopefully you're going to have a little hay for them. And I just want him to see the trailer as a pleasant place to be. So not a lot of force and insistence. Like if he were an older horse, I might really apply a lot more pressure on getting in. But just because I'm just initially teaching him and I'm not really going anywhere, I'm giving him time. The last time I had to use a butt rope, and I may do that today, but I'm going to see if I can get him up here without one. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want him to choose. And I already know the answer that he's not loading by just following me up like I tried. But hopefully it'll just be a few minutes today coaxing him. Come on, boy. And now he's gonna. I want him to take at least the first couple steps on his own. 
and then if he won't bring all four, I'll get the butt rope. But his fight right now is for the trailer because it's the strength behind what's tying him on. I'm just holding the rope and giving it an extra tug and then releasing as any movement toward me.
Back. Back. Back up. Back. Back up. Back up. He don't want to get down. Back up. Back up. That's a wrap because it was such a success. He got on without being tied off and that was the goal. Great job, Happy.